Hi guys, welcome back. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, I have hauls and I'm just starting to do um, wax empties. So you'll have to bear with me on that part because I am very new to that. Um, so let's jump right in. I have here today my L3 Waxy Wonders pre-order. Um, she actually did really, really well on this. I, I believe she started shipping 15 days before the turnaround time was up for this. Um, so she had loafs, um, two-pack tarts, and some body care as well, like body spray and lotion. And she also had four different samplers. Um, those were really cute, and I'm really regretting not getting a sampler. Well, there was a couple samplers that I wanted, and also not getting larger quantities, because I just got the two-pack tarts. Um, those were all $2.50 each, so let me dive right in so we can see those. Um, it did come with an invoice, which I've put away, because I already looked at all that. And it always comes with a sticker. It says, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one remembers to turn on the light, Dumbledore. So that is really cute. Um, and it came with a little sample bag. Let me grab those. Um, oh, here it is. So first off, she included this caramel from Sugarwood. Um, she included these. She said she was going to do them for a month, but I don't think she lasted the whole month because she had so many orders. Um, this is from a local shop that's local to her, and I did get one of these already in a previous RTS order, and it is so, so amazing. I know that some people were saying that it looked like it would be really chewy and really sticky, and it's actually like melt in your mouth soft like it's so good you hardly even have to chew it this is a really really nice caramel so I've already looked into ordering more of that because it is so good so these were the three samples I got I got strawberry passion and this is like a smaller one which I thought was a little bit odd that it was kind of like a half size one but who knows creamsicle and sweet cream strawberry passion It smells kind of tropical to me. Like, it smells like there's kind of like orange or mandarin in there or something. Creamsicle, it smells kind of like orange creamsicle, but it's less orangey. It's more creamy and less orangey. The orange, I think, comes in this oil, but it's more in the background. Um, sweet cream. This smells really good. It is kind of light at this point, but I actually really like this on its own. So... That was really nice. I was going to smell each of those, but I have a lot to get through. Um, as I said, I only got the two-pack tarts, but I got a lot of them. So the first thing, I got two body care items. They're both in the same scent. It's Moody with a Booty. I got the body mist and the lotion. I did test out this lotion. It feels really, really nice. It soaks in right away, but it's like super moisturizing. I really like this lotion, so I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't end up liking this scent. This is Bum Bum Cream, Georgia Peach, and Vanilla Ice Cream. I don't smell Bum Bum Cream at all in this, to be honest. And I've had that happen with a lot of the stuff I've gotten from her with the Bum Bum scent in it. Because, like, I have the, the original Bum Bum Cream products, and for some reason, I don't... Like, her Bum Bum Cream doesn't smell anything like the original which is a little disappointing, but I really like L3 and her customer service, all of her scent choices. Like, she's just amazing. So just because, you know, a few things I don't like doesn't mean I'm just going to give up on that vendor. So yes, I will be getting another different scent of the Luxe Lotion because I really like it. Um, the Body Mist I haven't tried before, so I'm not entirely sure, but since I don't like the scent, I'm not... I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep that. I might trade it to someone else. So let's jump right in here. This is what the two-pack tarts look like. Um, in her RTS sales, she usually has four-packs tarts available. Um, I'm not sure why she did the two-pack ones. Maybe it's just like a smaller option for people that are wanting to try a lot of the scents. And that's kind of what I did. Um, as much as I wanted loaves, I knew I would 
only be able to get a few cents compared to the bazillion cents <laughs> that I got. So I've had Cookie Crack before, I believe. This one, Cookie Crack is, I wrote all the cents on the back, uh, Pink Frosted Animal Cookies, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Whipped Cream. And I do put dates on the front of the packages because like I don't want to have to turn everything over if I'm just looking real quick through my stuff to see if it's cured yet. So I get a lot of the sugar cookie dough first, but you can definitely smell like the pink frosted animal cookies in the background and that sweet cream. That's what it looks like. She's pretty thick, so you can get at least two out of this, at least two melts. I mean, if you were using a tea light warmer, you could probably get four melts out of this. I'm not entirely sure of the weight of each of these, but if you're using a tea light or a smaller warmer, you could cut it into more pieces. So this is a good one. And then we have Sweetie Pie. I've had this one before as well. I used to be obsessed with this one and I just kind of moved on from it. It is Pink Frosted Animal Cookies, Monster Jam, and Sugar Cookie Royale. I don't have the scent notes for Monster Jam, but I want to say it's like a mixed berry and cherry, possibly. Because this Sweetie Pie to me smells like what Animal Cookies smells like from a lot of vendors. You know, Animal Cookies has that kind of cherry undertone to it. This Sweetie Pie kind of smells like that because of the Monster Jam. So you get the pink frosted Animal Cookies first and that jammy note is like right behind it. And the Sugar Cookie Royale just kind of ties it all together. It makes it that creamy, sweet kind of thing. Oh yeah, I also forgot, I don't know if I said, these two pack tarts were two fifty, and the body care were five each, and I believe those are four ounces, so it was a really, really good option for, like I said, those of us who just want to get more of different scents, who may not have as much all the time. Um, this one is Pink Frosted Cake, Strawberry Sugar, and Pink Frosted Animal Cookies. I've had one similar to this, but I've never had this specific one. I love her pink frosted cake and her strawberry sugar, so I figured I'd like this one. So I feel like the two first scent notes, the pink frosted cake and the strawberry sugar are coming out first for me. And then the pink frosted animal cookies is tying it all together. And I actually really like this one. I wish that I had gotten more, but unfortunately I did not. So I can't wait to try this one. So these also, I wanted to say that if some of these, if I'm saying they are light, it's probably because like she poured these all very, very quickly. She got that pre-order out in less than the turnaround time. So they need some time to cure. Even if these were poured at the beginning of the turnaround time, you know, I don't know if they were packaged and everything. They could have just been in containers. So who knows? Um, I've gotten blends with White Elephant Exchange several, several times before, so I wanted to smell it on its own. I've never smelt it on its own before. It is powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, and vanilla frosting. I've loved most everything I've had with White Elephant Exchange, so I figured why not just smell it on its own, see what it's like. Ugh, it smells so good. You definitely get the powdered donuts and the vanilla frosting is the biggest thing that I smell here. It actually smells like real frosting, so it's kind of crazy. It smells like real, real frosting. So this one I got two of. It is Salty Siren. Um, I don't have all of the scent notes for what's in this. It is Saltwater Mermaid, Saltwater Princess, and Mermaid Munchies. I know I have Saltwater Mermaid in there. I did get one of that. I believe the Saltwater Mermaid is, let me think, seagrass, coconut milk, agave nectar. What's the other thing? Maybe it's ozone or something. I don't remember off the top of my head. When I get to that one, I will say what that scent is. I don't know what Saltwater Princess and Mermaid Munchies are. I wish I did because I'm very curious. 
So this is definitely very aquatic. Um, for some reason, I'm getting like a gold sugar note. So maybe that's in one of those. Very aquatic, very sea-like. It's hard to explain. It, it definitely has that sweetness from the agave and the coconut milk. I was worried about the coconut milk in that saltwater mermaid scent. But that actually, I think, out of this box has got to be my favorite. Wish I could find it. It's probably buried at the bottom. So I messed up this one's date. It's kind of over the name. This one was from the sampler. The Today is October 3rd sampler. This is You Go Glen Coco. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, cocoa butter cashmere cashmere cedar and today is October 3rd so side note I just tried the today is October 3rd I just smelt it for the first time when I was opening this because I had to like smell them and label them and all that so I don't really like today is October 3rd to be honest I it's okay but I wouldn't be like obsessed with it or anything but with these added the cocoa butter cashmere and cashmere cedar it kind of gives it that more feminine perfuminess Oh, it makes this so so nice. I actually really like this one. So it's not super woody, and it kind of—it's hard to explain. It kind of has like a watery note in here too. I'm not sure what that is. If it's from one of those, but I don't think there's any aquaticness. So here's the today is October third. It's Palo Santo, sugar cookie royale, and toasted mallow. So that's what's in the today is October third. Yeah, I'm just not crazy about it. I used to like uh, Palo Santo quite a bit, and I had a couple of blends of hers with the Palo Santo that I was obsessed with for months that I would just not stop melting. Um, I believe the one that I used to use constantly from her was Palo Santo, uh, Mallow Fireside, and Buttercream Frosting. That's the one that I used to always get. Okay, this one is also the Palo Santo So Fetch. This was from the Today is October 3rd sampler as well. It is Strawberry Pound Cake and Today is October 3rd, which is the Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Mallow. I really don't like this one, to be honest. Like you, <clears throat> upon first sniff, you smell the Strawberry Pound Cake. It smells good. But as you keep sniffing, I don't know if it's just mine that smells like this or if it's just me that's crazy and smelling it like that. It kind of smells like burnt hair. Like, I smell the Palo Santo, but I also smell burnt hair. So, maybe it's just me. I'm not really sure. I didn't really like that one. And I've seen this one quite a few times. I think this one's pretty popular. Spiral Hill. It is blackberry jam butter cookies and sugar lemons. This smells so good. I don't usually like blackberry jam butter cookies, but I'm so glad that I got this. The sugar lemons, it's it's so nice. It kind of smells like a lemon head candy. I like it. Let's move some of these over. And we will keep trucking. Zucchini bread and white elephant exchange. I think I've seen this offered a few times before and I just avoided it. I think when I first got into wax a year ago, I tried her zucchini bread and it just, to me, smelled, it smelled like corn chips. So, and that was, I think, zucchini bread on its own. And so I never bought it again from her. And, you know, I'd seen a lot of people on, on her Facebook page raving about the zucchini bread. So I was like, why not? I might as well just try it again. It's not going to hurt to try it. So I got it and I actually love it. I think I just, I wasn't really aware what zucchini bread was, that it was more of a creamy scent. But if you have it on its own, it's totally different. This blend is so, so good. I am so mad that I only got one. I think I got an extra from the pre-order. She added them to her RTS and I, I think I got one more two-pack of this. 
you get the zucchini bread first, but you definitely get the white elephant exchange, that vanilla frosting, powdered donuts. Um, I don't really smell the other notes in the white elephant exchange. For some reason, I always just smell like the vanilla frosting and powdered donuts. But this is a really good one. If you have a chance to get that, definitely jump on it if you like that sort of thing. <clears throat> so I got three of the cookie therapy. And this is a new scent that she just came out with for the pre-order, I believe. She sent it out in R the RTS that followed the pre-order. I think it was still while the pre-order was open, actually. So that's what prompted me to order this. I got the sample and I tried it right away. Right, right when I opened the box, I threw it in. It smelled so stinking good. It is Santa's on Keto Pretzel and Sugared Shortbread. I don't have the scent notes for Santa's on Keto right in front of me, but oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. You get that pretzel, like that salty pretzel. It's not like yeasty, it's like a doughy pretzel. Kind of reminds me of like fresh baked bread or something. And like it kind of smells caramely, so I'm wondering if in Santa's on Keto there's some sort of caramel note. But this smells really, really good. And I'm glad I got three packs of it and I did get one more two pack in the ready to ship that she just had. All right, keep trucking, keep trucking. Oop, here is another, today is October 3rd. I forgot I got two of that. We'll put it in the stack of the today is October 3rd cents. So, when I got that sample of the cookie therapy, I decided to get some other blends with the cookie therapy that she had from that sampler available in like uh, out, outside of the sampler. So summer cookie therapy is fresh picked strawberries, sugar crystals, and cookie therapy. And I've also already had strawberry pound cake in cookie therapy. I got that in a loaf in one of the sales. This is really nice. So the uh, the fresh picked strawberries you definitely get first. And that sugar crystals kind of gives it like a candied strawberry note. Like, yeah, like that sugar, hard sugar coating. And you don't smell the cookie therapy as much in this one. You get uh, the fresh picked strawberries and sugar crystals mostly. But, yeah, I still think I'm going to be a diehard, plain cookie therapy fan. I'm not sure that I really enjoy it as much in the mixes. But this one I actually really, really liked with uh, the cookie therapy. I got two of it. It is movie night therapy. Cookie therapy, vanilla ice cream, waffle cone, and powdered donuts. It kind of almost reminded me of cookie therapy with white elephant exchange which since I have them both I can actually do that <laughs> that's kind of why I got white elephant exchange on its own so I can add it to anything I want oh my gosh this smells so so good you definitely get the powdered donuts you definitely get vanilla ice cream and waffle cone in with that cookie therapy, that saltiness. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I really hope that she brings these scents back. And like, I'm sure it will be hard for her because people are going crazy over the cookie therapy. But it is one of those, either you love it or you hate it. So I guess you have to get it and decide for yourself. And here is Saltwater Mermaid. So the scent notes for that, that's what I was forgetting. Ocean mist, seagrass with agave nectar and coconut milk. This is amazing. I am highly, highly regretting only getting one pack of this. It's like a sea scent, but it's sweetened by that like agave. It's not like salty sea air. It's not so salty. It's more toned down by that sweetness. The agave nectar and the coconut milk. This is so nice. I need to get more saltwater mermaid. I am desperate to have more of this. 
it is really nice if you want to get into aquatic i would try this because it's it's gentle if you're wanting to try something like that this is definitely a good one for that all right moving on we have saltwater mermaid and lighthouse um i know that this was in the saltwater mermaid sampler um I really did want to get it. I just wasn't really sure because some of the scents in there had fizzy in it and other stuff like that that I wasn't really sure of. So, excuse me, I made sure to get some of the scents that were in the sampler outside of the sampler. So, I have the scent notes written on the back here. It's the Saltwater Mermaid, which is ocean mist, seagrass, agave nectar, and coconut milk. And Lighthouse is sea air, white musk, lavender, cashmere cashmere amber tonka cedar and plum and when i first saw the scent notes for that i've almost ordered this like so many times but i just never never could do it i guess i was just scared of it oh, it smells so so good it's hard to explain but you get that like aquaticness but it's a sweeter aquatic less salty sierra-esque and more sweeter the lavender is really light in this, and I don't really smell the musk. And I don't really smell like tonka, cedar, and plum either. Actually, I can kind of a tiny, tiny bit get the cedar note in this and the plum. I think that's also what's contributing to the, the more sweetness of that. Um, we're getting close to the end of the box, so bear with me, guys. So this was the one I got in the body care that I didn't really end up liking. It's Moody with a Booty. I got two packs of it. It is Bum Bum Cream, Georgia Peach, and Vanilla Ice Cream. So maybe as this cures, it will change up. But as I said, I haven't been able to smell her Bum Bum Cream. Like in any of the blends I've got it in, it doesn't smell like Bum Bum Cream is in it at all. So I don't know if she just has a different type of bum bum cream I mean it smells okay you definitely get that Georgia peach oops the vanilla ice cream I get but then there's something else in there it doesn't smell like bum bum cream it, it definitely smells like a sort of body care but it doesn't smell like bum bum cream at all so I'm kind of thrown off by that, and it, I am disappointed, but it's okay. I mean, I liked mostly everything that I ordered, so I think the only thing I'm actually disappointed about was I expected to like this, so I ordered more in the RTS, so I have two more packs of that coming, and I don't think I like it at all, unfortunately. And we go to another favorite, Raspberry Whip. I've had this in a puppy pack. And I also have had this, <clears throat> excuse me, in a loaf. And I had in the loaf, it was mixed with White Elephant Exchange. If you can get your hands on Raspberry Whip White Elephant Exchange, you definitely want to do it. It's really, really nice. So Raspberry Whip is, the scent notes are sweet and tart, fresh raspberries, and fluffy, ugh, fluffy whipped cream. My brain is like wanting to read ahead for some reason. So, it's kind of odd because I still have some plain Raspberry Whip left. And this smells nothing like the one I've smelled. And also the one in the White Elephant Exchange just smells nothing like it. I don't know if, like, this, the ratio was changed slightly or what. But this smells like a candied raspberry to me. Like, it's not awful. I do still like it. It's just not the Raspberry Whip that I thought it was which stinks because I know uh, I know Danny tried uh, she's another youtuber on here she tried the raspberry whip for the first time in this pre-order and it's not the normal raspberry whip it smells totally different so I did let her know that the original raspberry whip is really light 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 greenness in it okay and it's like it's hard to explain. It's a very tart, fresh raspberry, but it's not too tart, not too bitter, not too sweet. It's like the perfect amount 
and it smells like a real raspberry with that green note from the stem and then you get the fluffiness like the whipped cream sort of note but this this doesn't smell anything like it so I'm hoping that I don't know I hope that the people that haven't tried it including Danny I hope that she tries it oops I hope that she tries it again or maybe I'll just have to send her some of the one I have because that's disappointing a little another one now that I'm done with my tangent <laughs> His diet starts Monday. I know this one is another popular one. Cotton candy frosting, sugar cookie royale, Santa's on keto, and sugared shortbread. I smell the cotton candy frosting first. And this one just, it smells really sweet. It's definitely like straight up bakery, but for some reason it's... I mean, I know it's bakery, it's going to take longer to cure, but right now it just kind of smells like crayons. But with the cotton candy frosting and Santa's on keto with crayons. <laughs> I know that like certain ones like this, usually I don't like that are like big parts of blends, like the Don't Cross Dreams, I didn't like that on its own. The Today is October 3rd. I didn't like that one on its own. The only ones I have liked on their own is the Cookie Therapy and um, the White Elephant Exchange. The other ones I, I haven't really liked on its own. And then the last one, I believe is the last one. Yes, I just looked in the box. This is the last one. It is Aquaman. I've seen people raving about this. I know Danny's mentioned it. A couple other YouTubers have mentioned this one. Um, it's Ocean Waves and Sea Breezes. I was blown away when I smelled this. You get an almost cologne note in this. But it, it it's like your nose starts to smell like what smells like a cologne. And then it comes back to like aquaticness. That nice, I want to say light. Because like aquatic is kind of a lighter scent to me. It's not like... It's not like a salty sear that's in your face, that's strong. This is more of a light, nice, kind of feminine, but also masculine. It's hard to explain. I'm not doing a good job of that today, explaining these, so I apologize for that. I think I've just smelled so many different things with all of these two packs. And then also the Sassy Girl Aroma. So yeah, I've smelled a lot today. This one is really nice. I do kind of get a green note in there too, but if you're also wanting to try something that's... I think that these two were offered in the sampler together. Saltwater Mermaid and Aquaman. Maybe I'm crazy and I'm just making that up, but I think I'm going to blend these two and maybe even try this one with the Salty Siren or the Saltwater Mermaid Lighthouse one. There's so many options like when you get ones like this that are just single scents. You can do so much with it. So let me try and pan around here. I know I'm getting a shadow from my light. But there's, there's a lot of packs and those are stacked up like four or five high in some of the stacks. So that is everything that I got. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, I know I didn't do the greatest job of explaining these today, but I hope you guys will try L3. I love, love, love shopping from L3 Waxy Wonders. Her restocks are amazing. She pours everyone's scent request if she can. If she can't, she always gets it the next time. If there's something that she is not able to get, she makes sure to tell you that. She's very fast. She's, she's just amazing. And like any time that there's anything messed up in your order or if something was mislabeled or you know was the wrong scent put in that bag she's always taking care of it she is absolutely amazing and it's so hard for me to be ordering from other places now because I am ordering so much from this vendor I really think that if you haven't tried L3 Waxy Wonders you should give her a try um, Trish is the one that makes her body care she has amazing body care stuff my favorite from her body care line is there's two the dry oil body spray it's not greasy at all it's amazing and the other is oh, what is it called it's a solid shave bar you use it before you shave it's like kind of 
greasy feeling, but it makes your legs so soft if you shaved with that. It's amazing. And less waste, too, and less packaging. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I really, really appreciate it. If you made it to the end with all my ranting, thank you so much. Um, I hope you will like this video and subscribe. I'll leave a comment and tell me if you've tried all three or if you would like to, what some scents you would like to try. And thank you for watching.